broadcast. We're in the kitchen now with the royal chef, Darren McGrady. And since you were here last, there's a new baby on the way for William and Kate. And then Prince Harry is turning 30 today. Can you believe that? You know, I held Prince Harry as a baby Aww. in the royal kitchens, Balmoral Castle, while Princess Diana sat on the side eating cereals from a bowl. Can you believe that was 30 years ago? No, I can't precious little ones and now they're having their own little ones. What do you think about that? So now Prince William and Kate have announced that they're providing us a spare to the throne. We've already got the heir <laughs> with, with George <laughs> and <clears throat> we're going to have a spare to the throne too. So that's exciting. Harry that's, keeps getting pushed further and further down the list, right? Doesn't he? But I think he likes that. He wants to be down there. Yeah, he's the he's, party prince. He's the party boy and, and he's getting 19 million today. So life's not so rough for Mr. Harry. He'll get by on that. <laughs> Princess Diana said to me in the kitchen, they'll take care of the heir. I've got to look after the spare. She certainly has done with that oh. much. Oh, yes, hasn't she? she has. What a sweet, <coughs> wonderful lady. Well, what are we making today? Well, Prince Harry would have been having a birthday party tonight, but he cancelled it because Kate's sick with morning sickness. Yes. This is a dish that I would have been cooking for him if I'd been his chef today. Would this be and an appetizer? Or would this this be... will be a, a Texas size appetizer <laughs> because we've got huge bruschetta here. Gorgeous. Okay? And we say bruschetta, not bruschetta. That's the proper I way like of saying it. Okay? That sounds like something I would say. So I want you to make me some cannellini bean paste, which right. is like a hummus. Lini bean paste? Let's so, do it. Let's drop the beans in there okay. and then a little garlic. What kind of beans are those? These are cannellini beans, so okay. um, instead of using the garbanzo beans, which would make a hummus, this is a little bit lighter. A little garlic. Some garlic, some olive oil, okay. salt and pepper, and then some lime zest. And while you're doing that, yes. I'm going to put some tenderloin steak because oh, Prince Harry loves tenderloin steak. So, so do I. I'm going to drop those in there. And you can do this with Did you cut those nice steak. and thin? I, I, Took the tenderloin steaks and battered them down. Ah, they cook okay. quicker on this one. Okay, I'm moving a little slow. Sorry. No, you're fine. It's uh, only 10, 11. Then I've got some. <laughs> and then I've got some <laughs> red onions that I've just cooked with a little sugar, olive oil, and salt. And the recipe's on your website and, yes. and on my website too. Red so onions, olive oil, sugar, there. and salt. So we just soften those. And then I've got some English Stilton cheese. I love that I'm gonna Stilton put on cheese. There. So I'm cooking my steaks. I'm going to get a nice sear on them. Okay. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to mix this around, and then shall I turn this machine on? Yeah, so once we've got okay. everything in there, and then lid on, and then we'll just pulse that. Just straight on, sits on oh, top. Oh, it doesn't That's twist it. on. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. How about a little pulse? Now, this one, it's at your discretion. We can do it really nice, smooth paste, or we can do it chunky. You know, some people may want a sort of chunky paste in there. I think I want mine smooth. Smooth one, okay. Yeah, like a hummus. Yes. So once you've done that, test it for that seasoning, good? maybe a little bit more salt and pepper, okay. and then we'll spoon it onto the bread. You can see I've taken my bread, mm -hmm. and I've just brushed it with olive oil and garlic, and then put it on the grill. Oh, my gosh. And got this nice and mm, crunchy. That's so good. Okay, Is that good? I like it just the way it is. Mm -hmm. Isn't that so easy to make, though? If you've just yeah. got a can of beans at home, Any you can bean, make this. Any bean, really? Right? Any beans, yes. Okay, shall I do this? <clears throat> Please. Okay. And these so steaks are nearly ready. On. I can't wait to taste that tenderloin steak. And then, and all you do is brush this with olive oil. Olive oil, a little garlic, and then just brush that, put it on the grill or and in the oven and bake it. And then you toasted it on both sides? Yes, just okay. toast on both sides. What kind of cake would Harry be having today? A chocolate cake. The royals always have chocolate cake. And in my book, Eating Royally, you can see the royal chocolate cake recipe. Oh. I don't know why, but they always go for that same chocolate cake. Oh, I like the way they think. That would be delicious. Steaks have been cooked on both sides. Gorgeous. Nice and tender. Yes. And, and I'm going to pull those to one side. Fine in here. So a little Stilton cheese a on A little each. Stilton cheese on okay. those. I've done a few to start with. Beautiful. And I'm going to cut these steaks into little finger pieces. Darren, you always make the best stuff here. <laughs> Thank you. So delicious and, and easy, too. This is an easy one to do at home. You've got friends coming. Look how oh, we pop this man. on. And then... wonder if Miss Lee wants to come help me. Maybe. Maybe not. I'm going to... Okay. Oh, you want... Are we putting arugula on this as well? We're just a little bit of that arugula on there. Just a little pretty on top. There we go. On the top yeah. there. Is this not gorgeous? All over Look the how pretty. I really got to get a good picture of that for Instagram, but would you like a bite? Uh, yeah, I do. Okay. Yes. Should you we grab take this one? Like one. Okay. And then Is I will continue to here? garnish. Mr. Darren, thank you so much for bringing this in. Oh, it's beautiful and it's easy, and that's what I love. Five minutes to do. Yum. It was so easy, and all you got to do is get out your food processor. Now, if we didn't have a food processor, I don't know why I want to talk like that. <laughs> <laughs> what? What mm. would we use? 
Uh, we can chop mm. the beans, we can chop them by hand. It, a really easy way is to take two pounds, one, tip the beans in, push this one in, and then you just push them down on top, and that will puree the beans for That's you easy. with the olive oil in there. That's so easy bad. to do at home. Mm. Did you put garlic oh, or something on the, the toast onions. before? A little garlic what in the, the toast. Onions? We forgot the caramelized oh, oh onions my gosh. on the top. Oh, yeah. Don't we need those? those. There How we go. could we forget well, that? Spotty. That's why I have a sous chef in the kitchen now, you and me. Thank you. I'm Look at those. Uh, you can hire me any day. And that oh. just finishes the dish, and that is eating royally. This is eating royally. Ooh, I'm going to eat royally right now while you read the prompter. <laughs> okay, you can get more from Darren McGrady, the royal chef, by going to his website, and that's theroyalchef.com. Mm. Mm. All right, when we come back, we are talking styling tips that will fit your look, how to know what cut and style is best for you and your hair. We'll be right back. Mm.